Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's good? I just finished the grind for the 100% free to play Great Saiyaman 4. And since this unit has the ability to increase attack and defense based on every super attack, I gave this unit level 15 additional attack and level 11 uh, for criticals. So as always with the uh, type of content regarding the stack effect or Kaioken mechanic where you continuously stack the attack or defense, in this case both of them, you're going to start out seeing what the base attack stats are uh, as well as the defense and then kind of work our way throughout the video on how high the the attack and defense stats can actually get to. So I know typically um, after you know grinding a unit to 100% potential I'll do a flat showcase but in this case let's just kind of test out how high his uh, stats can actually get to. So again uh, looks like on a decent rotation you're looking at about 131,000 in the attack stats before the super attack kicks in. I will note that you will see the Great Simon 4 linked up with the uh, tech Super Saiyan 2 uh, Gohan unit because of, you know, decent links plus the 30% uh, extra from Gohan's passive skill. So uh, I do want to keep that in mind. You'll see units like the Burai unit that's also providing uh, a pretty big boost, 40% to allies. She also has the ability to increase attack, uh, actually massively increase attack. So you'll actually be able to see her attack stats uh, fluctuate pretty substantially. And you'll see that uh, in the later parts of the video. But since we're go ahead, you know we're we're covering this unit for the first time. Let's just kind of go over the stats a little bit while we let the uh, stats go up a little bit. So in preview or or uh, review, I should say, the leader skill for this unit is super type uh, key plus two HP attack and defense increase of forty percent. Again, the super attack is ability to raise attack and defense and causes supreme damage to the enemy. The passive skill is also pretty nice. Attack and defense increase of 50% uh, to his own unit. And then super type allies get plus two key and defense increase of 30%. Along with that, youth category allies get another attack increase of 30%. Uh, links include Kamehameha, which is uh, 2,500 when SA is launched. Courage is plus one key. Hero is 20% increase to defense. Hero of justice is 25% to attack. In fighter is 10% to attack. Enemies defense minus 10%. Patrol is plus two key and shattering the limit is plus two key. Since this unit falls into the youth category and time travelers, I decided to run him on the Kid Goku lead, which is pretty much the youth and uh, Dragon Ball Saga. Or actually, it was the uh, um, yeah uh, youth category. It's always confusing because of the uh, the way things are worded. <laughs> but back to the whole point. Um, yeah, so it is going to be with the uh, Kid Goku lead. <laughs> So the, uh, what was it, 100% potential, you're looking at HP of 9,746, attack is 11,350, and defense is 6,305. Pretty decent stats for a free-to-play unit, honestly. 12 key multipliers, 130%. Again, the ability to raise attack and defense, uh, that equates to a 20% increase over the course of 99 turns. So as you know, uh, for those that watch, you know, some of the previous videos, even though the the idea is infinite uh, there is a restriction of 99 turns to where you can stack up the uh, the attack or defense in this case both of them <clears throat> so already at about 300,000 with the attack stats that obviously goes up to 399 once all the keys collected and uh, Burai as you can see is 660k I did a video on her a while back and uh, she has you know since she does have the massive attack increase ability with the super attack her attack stats are going to go substantially higher than the great Saiyaman since it's uh, a, a much more higher percentage number based on every super attack but the Grey Saiyaman is also very interesting to see how you know high the actual stats can get to. I mean, you're looking at 480, 480,000 already. And again, I didn't necessarily keep track of how many, you know, what turn this was or anything like that. Typically, in the past, I kind of kept a spreadsheet, logging everything, but I was just kind of chilling, you know, laying on bed, grinding a little bit. So I just, I just decided not to to keep a log for it. It is a little bit unfortunate that uh, the unit isn't on, you know, the uh, 
Goku's lineage. It would have been nice though, but um, you can't you can't ask for too much, I guess. So the uh, Gohan unit right here, it's uh, limited to one turn. Uh, what was it like? Massively raise attack for one turn. So you know it's going to be pretty much a constant number throughout. So it'll be a good comparison on seeing how much of a difference uh, you're seeing. You know, with the units that can uh, stack their attack or defense stats versus some that uh, have a turn restriction or basically none at all. At this point, Zamasu is pretty much a uh, punching bag at this point. Just, you know, practice. It's, like, it's almost like the shooting range in a way. You'll see instances where the Great Saiyaman 4 is, is actually taking attacks. In some cases, you'll see the uh, super attack being received by him, and it's pretty uh, marginal, to say the least. I mean, you're looking at double digits in, in damage later on. I mean, I'll go ahead and tell you, the defense stats will get up to, like, what was it, like 500,000 or something like that. Something crazy like that. So, over time, it definitely does creep up a lot. So just with the normal additional attack, that was about a million in, in damage right there. So pretty crazy. So it looks like 696,000 defense is about 308,000 from what I see. So it definitely does uh, add up a lot over time. So, you know, you got to understand where we started. I think at the very first rotation that the unit was on, it was maybe 139,000 with the uh, attack. I don't even remember what the defense stats were at that time, but it definitely is uh, pretty crazy to say the least. So again, it's all about cramming as many super attacks as you can uh, within the 90 t 99 turn restriction. Honestly, I was a little bit uh, bummed out because I did give this unit level 15 additional attacks and level 11 criticals, but I didn't really see him do additional attacks too much. I mean, it's all RNG based. Like in some instances, I ended up seeing the uh, Gohan unit uh, do additional supers for a lot more than the Great Saiyaman. And Gohan only has a level 9 additional attack uh, potential level versus Great Saiyaman with level 15. So sometimes it's all about, you know, getting lucky and stuff like that. Obviously, if he did a lot more additional supers, I think the stats would have been even higher uh, within 99 turns. So. That's pretty much the uh, catch-22 with that one. You, you kind of have to cram, his, cram in as many super attack as you can before you get to that point. Um, obviously, 99 turns can take a pretty decent amount of time, but you know if you do it enough, it'll, it'll definitely, um, you can definitely run through it pretty quickly. So yeah, she's looking pretty crazy. 2.4 million, I think, was the attack stats right there. So yeah, pretty wild stuff. Okay, now we're getting closer to the 2 million range. 1.5 million uh, attack stats wise. And yeah, we, we actually were able to hit 2 million attack stats with the super attack hitting for about 2.4 million. Additional attack kicking in as well. Yeah, pretty nice to see that. 3. About 4 million with the crit too, so definitely really nice to be able to see that. Obviously, you're not going to see this in a realistic setting. This is stacking after stacking after stacking after stacking after stacking. So in a realistic battle scenario, you're never going to see stats like this. So um, for those that are new to this type of content that I do occasionally, whenever uh, units like this are available or, or released, just understand this is more or less just testing the unit out in terms of how much you can stack. It's not a realistic uh, type of setting. It's, it's purely experimental is probably the best way to explain it. So I think we're definitely getting closer to that uh, limit of the 99 turns. Looks like 1.2 million and about, what is it? I can't tell if it's 544,000 in defense or was it 644,000? It was a little bit grainy uh, looking at this right now, but either way, defense stats are definitely pretty high too. So 
So I think that's the highest I've seen, about 2.1 million. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty crazy seeing that, uh, especially when you see the additional attack kick in, and it's not even a super attack; it's a normal attack hitting for like a million. It's it's pretty wild. So I think we're getting to that point where that's pretty much the cap. Uh, it's not going up any higher since around this point is probably when uh, the 99 turns kicked in, you know, over time. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stack it any higher. So in this case, let's just go ahead and use the uh, limo item, you know, convert the uh, orbs over and get that extra 5% and, and see what kind of damage we're looking at. Honestly, I, I was I kind of messed up the rotation here. I was working on getting the LRB pun unit in the rotation and then activate the uh, active skill for that extra uh, 30 what percent I think for allies it would have been it would have been very nice and it would probably would have made a lot of difference in terms of the overall output itself but unfortunately I uh, wasn't able to do that so um, yeah we'll just have to go into the Dokkan mode with that in mind but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I, I try to do this every now and then when it's available, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to honestly test out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I do appreciate you guys watching, so I'll uh, catch you guys later and stay tuned.